Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to make over this little antique rocker I found at a thrift store. I begin by stripping the back and the seat from the fabric. Someone had reupholstered it about three, four times, and so I had to strip all of that down. This process took a while because there was tacks on top of tacks on top of tacks where they had just nailed the old fabric on top of more fabric. Once I got down to the batting, I could kind of tell how old the rocker was. I'm not an antique expert or anything, but my research tells me that the rocker was probably made in the early 1900s. Its batting is made of straw and there's some cotton in there as well. There are some bolts and screws that are in the rocker but you can tell that they are not original someone had went back and reinforced the joints with some bolts if anyone has a better idea of how old this little rocker is please leave me a comment in below. Stripping the layers of fabric and the batting from the chair took great effort and a lot of time. However, I learned my lesson. I did not wear a mask. I should have. It was very dusty and dirty even though I was outside and there was a breeze. I ended up getting a sinus infection from not properly masking up. So in the future I will take caution when doing this type of work. Trying to keep the integrity of the chair, I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to wash it real well, lightly sand it, and then put a coat of stain. I just used one coat of stain. The brand was Min Wax and the color was Walnut. I think that this color brought out the richness and the beauty of the wood. The 
chair had old metal springs for the seat. I'm not going to reuse those. I'm just going to cut a board for the seat and a board for the back. The board for the back is going to be thinner than the seat. The seat's not going to get wet, so I'm just going to use particle board. In order to be able to attach this board as a seat, I'm going to have to cut braces to go in the corner so that I will allow me to attach my seat. Okay, now I have came into the house. I'm going to cover the back and the bottom with fabric, but first I'm going to use some foam and some batting to make a cushion for the back and the seat. I have some one inch foam left over from another project, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to double it for the seat and I'm just going to have a single layer for the back. I used some spray adhesive to help me hold the foam onto the wood and then I just wrapped my pieces as if I was wrapping a present. Stapling the fabric in place as I go. It's time to attach my back to the chair. I was going to use upholstery tacks, but they're not long enough, so I had some small nails that I just nailed into the corner, then took my upholstery tack and camouflaged the nail. For watching and I hope this video has inspired you to do a furniture makeover of your own.